Robinson. How are you doing now? Fine. Hope I didn't keep you waiting too long. So? So? I need your help again. <laughs> With what? About the house help. Well, as you're well aware, I sent Risika away. Mm. So I need a new girl urgently. Can you help? Well, yeah, but it depends on your preferences. What are you looking for? Well, a girl who can speak English. Mm -hmm. She must be very intelligent. Mm. Not a dummy like Risika who could not even tell who slept with her. And mm. uh, lastly, mm. she must be ugly. Yes, very ugly. Uh, uh, ugly? Yes. Ugly and physically unattractive. Mm. Front and back must be very flat. She must be too thin or too short. In fact, I want a briefcase. She must have thick lips, big eyeballs. Oh, Ada, how do I even put this? Simply put, I want a girl who displays classic ugliness. Mm. Mm. Ada, can you help? Uh, do you mind if I ask why? Well, I think ugly girls are more dedicated to their jobs. No distraction from men. No unwanted pregnancies. Mm. That's all. Yes. Or well, maybe Ada. an ugly girl is less likely to tempt your husband. Mm. Not at all. Mm. Aja. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> anyone can tempt my husband. Hmm? Yes. He's a man of no prejudice. Uh -uh. A man of the people. The defender of the defenseless woman. Oh, Ada, <laughs> tell me if you help me or not. <laughs> I mean, you are the Mrs. Robinson. How can I say no? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sarah. Uncle, can I ask you something? Yep, shoot. If you like someone, is it wrong to tell the person? Uh, it depends. Depends on what? Depends on who is liking someone and who is being liked. I don't understand. Okay, let me explain. Um, if a boy is liking a girl, he can express himself. But if a girl likes a boy, she has to be very careful because this our society does not encourage her exp expressing herself. Okay, um, but in movies, girls tell boys that they like them. Sarah, movies are not real. Besides, this is Africa. And the African tradition does not encourage a girl expressing her feelings to a boy first. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about America? Can a girl approach a boy? Oh, I believe it happens. <laughs> Besides, it's... On certain, you know, instances, it's, it's encouraged, so... Uncle? So you mean in the whole of Africa, it is wrong for a girl to approach a boy? I mean, tell the boy that she likes him? N no, no, not, not wrong. It's, it's not just ideal, it's weird for, for, for a girl to do that. But then, there are so many ways a girl can tell a boy she likes him without even saying a word. Um, Uncle... You mean yes. there are so many ways a girl can tell a boy that she likes him? Mm. Okay, please, can you just give me, like, examples? Can you, like, explain to me? I, I really don't get, like, how? Like, how? Sarah, is this about you? Are, you? are you interested in a boy? Not really. I... Sarah. 
zero. Okay, talk to me. Come on, talk to me, talk to me. Okay. But promise me you won't tell Grandma. What? Won't you tell Grandma? I said don't tell Grandma what. <laughs> See, Sarah. Teenage boys your age, they are like dogs. They look at you. But they are salivating for another thing. Which is what? Which is? Um, mommy, huh? let her just find out herself. Hey, huh? Jayola. Jayola. <coughs> Jayola, I don't want a pregnant teenager in my care. Oh, now I get it. I know. Get what? what? Are you serious? Yes. Well, she started with me yesterday. Yes, I know. But she was a disaster. A disaster? How? She stole my ring. And she lied about it. <laughs> what on earth will she use your ring for? Who cares? If she can steal my ring in one day, then she'll probably steal my husband in one month. She looks so decent. <laughs> my sister, looks can be deceiving. So what are you going to do? The question is, what are we going to do? We? Yes. And I have a perfect answer to that. We will be interviewing prospective candidates. Oh, interview? Is that really necessary? Yes. By this interview, we know who is already a thief or who is planning on becoming one. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Good. There you go! That's your answer! Wow! Shola, you're such a genius. I wish I could be good like you in mathematics. I wish I could also be good like you in English language. Can we strike a deal? You help me out in English while I help you out in mathematics. What do you think? It sounds fantastic. Can I ask you a question? Sure, go ahead. Do you have a boyfriend? Um, no, I don't have a boyfriend. What about you? Do you have a girlfriend? Um, I, I, I don't have a girlfriend. But right now, I am searching for one. Good. May you find one in Jesus' name. So what's your name? Rita. Rita. Have you worked as a house girl before? No. Can you cook? No. You can't cook? No. So what can you do? No. Why are you look just so bad? I can't wait. Just pour something. Here we go. Mm -hmm. mm. Yep. Thank you. 
So I hear my wife is helping your wife get a house help. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are conducting the interviews. <laughs> Can you possibly believe that? The whole exercise is terrible and I'm paying for it. Why do I have a feeling you don't really want this house help? Because it's a waste of my hard-earned money. I mean, why does a full-time housewife need help? Actually, I don't know. Jai, I know. My wife is lazy. Hmm. Ah. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Robinson. Eh? Mr. Robinson. What is it now? <laughs> if your wife hears this, you know she won't be happy. <laughs> I see your cheeks. <laughs> Jai, are you going to tell her that? Ah, but then if you don't want it, just tell them to stop. Eh? That one? Hm. That woman is unstoppable though. I just complain and allow her to make a fool of herself. And my wife too? I didn't say that too. Uh -huh. You did. <laughs> okay. What's your name? My name is Aunt Gloria. Have you worked as a house girl before? Yes, no. Yes. So why did you leave your last place of work? Me. I break my organs. Why? The stupid man call me stupid. Me. Ha! That man. Okay. That was an okina. Ha! Uh, that... Robinson, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, Jai. You see, I just realized that getting a house help is not a bad idea after all. Why did you just change your mind? <laughs> My brother, if nothing is done, I'm going to die of hunger very soon. Mama. <laughs> your wife does not cook? Mm hmm? That one. <laughs> Actually, all she cooks is noodles in the morning, noon, and at night. Yeah, then ask her to cook something else. Now ask her to make something else. Mm. That will be a waste of my precious saliva because she can't cook. As in, she can't. Wait, what you're trying to tell me is that your wife cannot cook. Miss um. Robinson. Darling. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, food is ready. Food? Yes. Guess what I prepared? Oh, guess now. What? Your favorite meal. My favorite meal? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. You don't know your favorite meal? Noodles and egg. Oh. What is he saying? I had no, no egg. He just, yes. <laughs> um, are you done with the interview? No, we're not done yet. I don't have to rush off to the supermarket to get something. Oh. Anyways, just one person left, so we can do that. Maybe. Okay. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Eat. Let me. Give me. Drop this glass. Come. Let's go and eat. Daddy. English grammar are you interested in? Phrases. I find it so difficult to understand phrases. I like your eyes. My eyes? Shall are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I thought we were talking about phrases. Yes. But I also want you to be my girlfriend. Shall I are confusing me? I'm sorry. It's just that I like you. You're a very beautiful girl and intelligent. So, are you now to see me? No. But you just asked me to be your girlfriend. Okay, I'm toasting you. Are you angry? I don't know. So, will you be my girlfriend? I don't know. C can I think about it? Sure. Um, 
If you will excuse me, I I want to do something for Grandma. So no phrases again? No, no more phrases. Maybe some other time. Okay. I'll see you later. Yes. Your madam threw you out of the house. Yes, my okay madam, a wicked person. Hi, what did you do? I don't do anything, I swear. I do it for my room. My okay madam husband come come for my room. Come tell me, make I ride on top bed. Now I come ride on top bed. My okay madam husband come say make I pull my clothes. I don't pull my clothes. Oh. My okay madam husband come using hand pull my clothes. Small time my okay madam husband come tell me say make I come ride on top him. Bon, I no ride on top him. My okay madam husband come face come ride on top of me. I see you're on top of me. Small time, my, my okay, madam, go enter inside house. Come see you, come the shot. Akbara, Akbara. I'll show you, I'll show you. You won't eat my food? Yes, I won't eat anything you cook. But I prepared the best noodles ever. Oh. And before long, noodles will be flying out of my nose and ears. You married me for better for worse. So stop complaining about my noodles. If you want to eat better food, then you employ a cook. <laughs> ah. <laughs> then, my dear wife, what will you be doing in this house? As old as you are, you, you can't cook. Eh? I said you can't cook. Ah, oh, you should be grateful. You should be grateful to your God that you are not my daughter and I'm not your mother. I for don't show you. Well, Grandma, I feel, I feel bad already. I don't care how you feel. I don't care how you feel. Don't you know that it is, it is bad for you to cook noodles for your husband? Morning, afternoon, night, weekend, week out, month in, month out, year in. Ah, 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 that is tantamount to wickedness now. No wonder. I keep looking at the man as if he has squash or cup. I say it is you. That is wickedness, oh. That is wickedness. You are a very wicked woman. Grandma, are you going to teach me how to cook or you, you just stay here and abuse me? Yes, I will abuse you first. And then I will teach you how to cook later. Are you okay with that? Answer me now. Do you agree or not? If you don't, that's the door. Oh, that's the door. Yes. Can't cook. Yes, go, go. But um, anyway, as usual, let us pray before I will make any other decision. Huh? Shola? You weren't expecting me? Not really. <sighs> that means you didn't think about it. Um. So you watch cartoon? Yes, sometimes, when I'm bored. Bored? Why would I be bored in this house? Why? When do you think that happens is, Sarah, don't do this. Sarah, don't do that. Sarah, come back. Sarah, don't go. Sarah, move forward. Sarah, move backward. It's just... <sighs> that means you need freedom. Something like that. Freedom for what? Freedom for everything. Hmm. Why are you smiling? Um, I'm the only one at home. There's no one around. And I would want you to come over. <laughs> to do what? Hmm. Uh, what about what we talked about last time? 
you said you wanted to think about it. Yeah, I'm still thinking. Can you come to my house so we can talk about it? My parents are not around. Um, I don't think... Oh. Grandma, this is my... I know. Good afternoon. Good, 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 good evening, ma. And what is she coming to your house to do? Hey! I feel... Thank God I'm finally free. That mother-in-law of yours is a slave driver. <laughs> do you know she made me cook one soup 20 times today? <laughs> just relax, Mrs. Robinson. My mother-in-law is just warming up. Just warming up? Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> anyway, thank God she's gone to church. Yeah, but she won't be there forever. Wait, oh. Ada? Are you not sure I'll be dead by the time she's through with me? <laughs> but that's better than losing your husband to another woman because you cannot cook a decent meal. Hmm? I only ask to learn to cook. <laughs> Please be on this house. Welcome. To the kitchen! To the kitchen! Now! Yes, ma'am. Oh, I feel fulfilled today. The Lord is good. Tell me something, Mama. I believe your friend who was girl through the Sephora road thing. Mama, yeah. don't be too sure. This my friend is lazy. Oh. If I can teach Sarah how to learn not to run after young boys that is not good for her age, then I surely will teach your friend how to cook it for you. Running after boys? Oh, yeah. Oh, there she comes. See, like boys who are wasting their times running around looking for girlfriends are... Huh? Salivating dogs. And they are... Dangerous because they only want to bite. And that is what the super mama says. Yes, and the super girl. So you see? Mm -hmm. Do you not believe that your friend would learn how to cook a for you? Mm. <laughs> That's what the super mama says. But you promised to teach me how to cook. Mrs. Robinson, ah. you know me and my ways. I will teach you, but we do it my own way, as usual. First, we have to do Bible study. Do you understand that? <clears throat> in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, so it is now, and so it shall be, forever and ever now. We are going into the book of Proverbs. Proverbs 28, verse 1. And it says, listen. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. But the righteous are as bold as lion. You know you should not be here. But you said she's not around. Yes, I know, but she can be back at any time. See, so, are you done thinking about it? Yes. And? Well, after serious deliberation and consultation, my answer is yes. <laughs> are you serious, Sarah? That means you like me. I like you. Wow. I mean, I'm really happy. Now that you're my girlfriend, can I get a kiss? A kiss? Yes, please. Okay, um, just one. Just one. What's going on here? Nothing, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Sarah, were you about, you about, 
Ah. Sarah, we have some serious talk. We need to talk. You won't. What? <laughs> ah. We need to talk. Hey. Any questions? No questions. Good. You understand everything I've explained and demonstrated to you? Everything. Including the Bible verses. Uh, I understand. Bible verses will not help you to do this cooking, Mrs. Robinson. Eh? Well, Grandma, you said the Bible says I can do all things through Christ. That is if me. you have faith and you are ready. <laughs> Grandma, I'm ready and I have faith. Hey, if you are ready and you have faith, yes. and you are ready and you have faith. I am ready. But faith without work is dead. Okay. So, go ahead and cook your own for now. Okay. The kitchen is yours. Yes, ma. Just go ahead. Okay. Do your own for eh? okay. Cook your own for you. Don't disappoint me. I will not disappoint you. Don't disappoint me. Yeah. I can do all things, though. Through your husband. You guys who strength is me. The kitchen is yours, my okay, dear. Thank you, Grandma. All right. Uh -huh. I'll be waiting in your living room. Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. I'm I'm so happy to see you. Me too. Is anyone at home? No, no one is at home. Ah, thank God. At least now we can kiss without anyone disturbing us. Shall we? No. But you're my girlfriend. And it is the responsibility of a girlfriend to kiss their boyfriend. According to what constitution? Shola, we can be boyfriend and girlfriend without having sexual contact. But kissing is not a sexual contact. I know. But it could lead to something that the both of us won't be able to handle. And you know we are still teenagers. It's just a kiss. So, are you trying to tell me you won't kiss me now? No. Okay. If you won't kiss me, I believe you would hug me. Or is hugging also a sexual contact? Well, hugging is different. And if you would hug me, I want it now. Oh. Ah, let me go! <laughs> it's okay, you said just a hug! No, I won't let you go. Leave me! Leave me alone! No, no, not... It's okay! <laughs> The hug. I, I said the kiss. Ah, no, I'm not going to kiss you. Leave me. Okay, okay. But you know I can give you something more than a hug and a kiss. Hmm? Yes, I can. You serious? Yes, yes, yes. I'm very serious. <sighs> okay. Um. Okay. Um. Let's go to your house. Okay. Yeah, lead the way. Sarah! Sarah, what, what, what are you doing now? What's this, Sarah? Shola, go to your house. Go to your house and don't come back here again. Dog! Sarah! Sarah, why are you doing this now? Go home! Go home! Sarah! Speak to me now. Sarah! Go home. I said you should go home. Don't you have a house? What are you doing here again? Um. Uh. Uh. uh, 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 uh no, no, ma. 
I think I have to cast away the spirit of fornication from you. Ah, uh -huh, no, no, no. No what? No, no what? No, ma. What is the wages of sin? Death, ma. The wages of sin is what? Death, ma. Death? Yes, ma. Do you want to die? Ah, uh -huh, no, no, ma. I said, do you want to die? No, no. You, should, you, you are sure you don't want to die? Yes, ma. If you don't want to die, if you ever set your foot in this house again, death will just come like that. Uh, I, I won't, ma. Oh, thank you. Uh, no. Oh, thank you. No, ma. Ale! Grandma, what is happening? Nothing. I just chased a stray dog out. Oh, are you expecting one? Me? No. I don't like dogs, though. Especially the salivating ones. Good. That's my girl. Good girl. So, how was school today? Ah, uh, Grandma, school was fine. Mm -hmm. How was your day? In Shiloh defeated. Hmm? Yes. Like we defeated the salivating dog. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma. Uh, <laughs> uh, the pastor asked after you when are you coming for the next Sunday school? Okay. I, I, I know you want to agree that Cristiano Ronaldo is a better player than Messi. Must you discuss football? Ah, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, that guy is complete. Hey, hey, hey. Is that Messi is not See that? <laughs> Come with me. Your food is patiently waiting for you. Oh, thanks for the offer. But noodles? I'll pass. Who is talking about noodles? I am talking about well prepared Eforiro with lots of fishes, grey fish, and snails. <laughs> And lots of wonderful meat, complemented with a mountain of pounded yam. Where did this your food come from? <laughs> I cooked it. Sales by moonlight. Hmm, look, things are different now. I'm learning how to cook from a brutal cook. Oh, <laughs> that's Mama Jai, by the way. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see then. Uh, this is going to be the ninth wonder of the world. <laughs> You know I can't <laughs> afford to lose you. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, if this is true, then I'm going to live forever. <laughs> you will live forever. <laughs> Come on, let's go. All right, baby. Yeah. Leave your friend alone, Joe. You know. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Enjoy. Happy my life. <laughs>